The NBA is rigged and scripted. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how the NBA uses magnetic balls and magnetic rims to manipulate and control the outcome of its games. Imagine with the press of a button or a flip of a switch, you could control whether any player makes any shot or whether any player misses any shot. That's exactly the technology that is in place in the NBA today. It ain't magic, it's magnets. Baron Davis can make a shot from anywhere on the court. Is it magic or is it magnets? Tiny magnets placed on the ball, ensuring a strong attraction to the metal rim. Watch. Baron needs more magnets. Baron gets more magnets. Don't believe me? Watch the NBA playoffs and you'll see there's really no other explanation. In this commercial from 2007, the NBA openly admits to using magnetic rims and magnetic balls. And at the same time, they openly mock their audience and make it appear as if it's nothing more than a joke. Because they used a magician, David Blaine, to deliver the message in a commercial, the audience is going to dismiss the message as if it's nothing more than sarcasm. But in reality, this is the truth in plain sight. They have admitted it to you, and therefore, if you continue to go along with it, then you deserve to be duped. Currently, the NBA is using two different forms of highly advanced technology in conjunction with one another. One of these forms of technology is magnetic technology. When people first hear magnetic technology is in the balls, they think, oh, well, the ball would have to be made of metal. The ball would have to be a solid magnet. The ball would be too heavy. None of these things are true, and I'm going to prove the technology does exist, and the ball doesn't have to be made of magnetic material. This is the world's strongest magnet, capable of sucking objects in, generating electric current, yep. and levitating non-magnetic objects. This electromagnet creates a magnetic field of 45 Tesla, so nearly a million times Earth's magnetic field. We're going to experiment with a magnetic field that extends above and around the magnet on this platform. We cut open a Nerf football and put in a couple steel washers, and sure enough, it's easy to tell which ball contains the washers. The NBA doesn't dare come out and admit that they are indeed using magnetic technology to influence and manipulate every single shot taken on the court. However, they openly admit to using a different form of highly advanced technology. Believe it or not, the NBA actually admits that they use military grade missile guidance technology. This is David's sling, part of Israel's missile defense system and one of the most advanced in the world. The same technology behind this can also be found here. There are six small cameras high in the rafters of every NBA arena, and they helped change the way basketball is played. They took the optical sensors and algorithms and cameras that allowed defense systems to track missiles through the air and started using them to track soccer players on a field. The cameras track the position of all 10 players, the ball and the refs, 25 times per second. That adds up to millions of data points each game crunched by an algorithm and beamed back to the coaching staff. This development was a literal game changer. So the NBA claims they're only using this missile tracking technology in order to track the players' movements on the court and gain statistical data points. Now, I don't doubt that they are using the technology to do those things. However, I think it's a cover story 
for the fact that they're also using the technology to guide the ball to the hoop. The combination of the missile guiding technology and the magnetic technology ensures that the ball go directly towards the center of the hoop and then sucked directly into the hoop. Now I think they have this technology perfected and they can control whether any shot by any player goes in and I think they can reverse this technology and control whether any shot taken by any player misses. The sports betting industry is a multi-billion dollar industry and the NBA is a business and the business is show business. Between the NBA and the Vegas sports books, they stand to make the most money by rigging the games and controlling the outcomes than they do leaving the outcomes to chance. So what that means is it's in the best interest of the NBA for not only maximum entertainment value, but for maximum profit for them to script their games. Not only is it completely legal for the NBA to script their own games, there's literally no reason for them not to do it. Some people think that games are only rigged by the refs and that all you need to do is just have the refs make certain calls and screw over a team and that that's how they rig the games. Uh, no, all the players are in on it. All the players know that it's an entertainment business and they don't care about winning or losing because they know it's not a legitimate sports contest. They only care about making their big fat paycheck and they make a big fat paycheck to keep their mouth closed about the inner workings of the business and the fact that it's rigged and scripted. The smoking gun proof that the NBA is indeed using magnetic balls and magnetic rims is the fact that all these balls keep getting stuck on the rim. Uh, some of them look so completely unnatural. They look so manipulated that you could go out in your driveway and shoot hoops a million times every single day and you will never get one to stick to the rim the way some of these shots in the NBA are sticking to the rim. Not just the rim, but also on top of the backboard. Not only are the games rigged and scripted in the NBA, but even the halftime shows are rigged and scripted. Have you ever been to a game and during halftime, they call some random fan to come out of the stands and take a half court shot for a chance to win money? They can plant an actor in the stands who they call out on the floor to take the half court shot and they can turn the magnets on, have him miraculously make what appears to be a magical shot, have the crowd go crazy, and the whole thing can be a scripted show and nobody is the wiser. So this supposed random fan who they call out of the stands misses a layup for 10 bucks and it appears like he missed it on purpose. So then he gets to take a free throw for a hundred bucks and he airballs it. Looks like he did that on purpose as well. So then he gets to take a three pointer shot for a thousand bucks, which he again airballs, which again looks like he did on purpose. So now he gets to take a half court shot for $10,000. Miraculously, he swishes this shot, no problem. In my opinion, this is smoking gun proof that not only does the NBA use magnetic balls and rims, but they also will stoop as low as to plant an actor in the stands and have him make this scripted shot from half court after he scripted misses the first three. If that evidence isn't convincing enough for you, I have one more clip to show you. And if you don't agree that the NBA is using magnetic rims and balls after seeing this, 
then you are meant to be a sleeping sheep forever. So just like the last clip, a supposed random fan gets to take a half court shot for a chance to win some money, except this time it sticks to the back of the rim. It doesn't even bounce or move or anything, just half court stuck. In my opinion, that is the smokingest of all smoking guns. 100% proof the NBA is rigged and scripted. Not only that, they are definitely using magnetic rims and balls. If you don't agree with my assessment, that's fine, but you are wrong. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.